Hey guys, check it out. This is the brand new 2023 Lexus RX 500H, and that's a brand new model for Lexus. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna crawl inside of it. We're gonna take it for a drive. I'm gonna tell you everything there is to know about this new model. Now, as you know, Lexus has been building the RX for five generations. This is the fifth generation, and it first showed up in 1998 and it immediately became one of Lexus's most popular cars. It's one of those Goldilocks cars, you know? It's kind of the right size and of course, the right fit for many people and the right price. Now for 2023, we're getting this interesting new model, the 500H Direct 4. And what that means is this is an F-Sport performance-oriented hybrid. So let's start where we always start and that is under the hood now. You guys might be expecting to see a big old six cylinder that's under the hood, but you would be very surprised to find, in fact, it's a four cylinder that's paired, of course, to an electric motor drive unit in Lexus speak. Uh, and that produces a whopping 366 horsepower. Let me open this hood and over 400 pound foot of torque, which is uh, fast enough, at least according to Lexus, to scoot this car from zero to 60 in about 5.7 seconds, if the numbers that I read are correct. Uh, and of course, we'll do some independent testing of that. Now, of course, what makes the 500H unique, and this has been the case in the previous models, is that the front wheels are driven by the engine and the rear wheels are driven by, in Lexus speak, a drive unit or an electric motor. So with most all wheel drive cars, there's a drive shaft that goes between the front and the back. This car doesn't have a drive shaft. It's got a engine, gas powered motor. Now, to get 366 horsepower, this car has, I believe, the drive unit out of the BZ4X, which gives it about 100 horsepower to the rear wheels. And then it can distribute power in pretty much any amount it chooses to, depending on the driving conditions. The other thing you'll notice immediately is, of course, that this is in an interesting color. Lexus calls this Copper Crest. Uh, and let me know in the comments below whether you think Copper Crest is cool or crap. I kind of like it. It's a certainly a unique color. Now, you may be wondering about Lexus's famous spindle grille. And in fact, it's smaller than the outgoing generation because in the past, this part that would have been grille would have gone all the way up here. But now, this is actually just stylized grille. So maybe we have reached peak grillness and now we're going down. Now I'm here in case you're wondering, just outside of Santa Barbara, where Lexus flew me in to test drive this and review it as part of the international launch. Uh, and in terms of availability, this Lexus will be available along with, well, actually four other models, perhaps the most interesting one and there's a review of that as well. Go to alltfl.com is a new plug-in hybrid. Yep, there's a new plug-in hybrid uh, that now gets something like 30, maybe 40 miles of all electric range. Under here, we have a spare tire. Here we have the usual accoutrement. And of course, being a Lexus, we have power seats. But those power seats aren't as interesting, let me show you, as these power seats right here. Oh, this one doesn't have it. Some actually have a little power seat that lets it fold backward and forward, but this one doesn't. So I'm sitting behind myself. So let's see how much uh, leg room and headroom I have. And if you look, it's got the big old sunroof, but that takes about an inch, maybe two inches of headroom away. So I am a little tight on headroom, but okay on leg room. Now there are two things that the current RX doesn't have that the old one had, and I'm talking about all four models. That is a two or four wheel drive standard non-hybrid, the 350 RX, uh, and of course this 500 and the plug-in, which is a 450 plus hybrid. Yeah, it's weird, but that's what they're calling it. The two things that they don't have is a single six cylinder engine among them, or the L version. So remember there used to be an L version that had a back seat uh, that is no longer there. So now we just get the two row and not the three row. Thing about Lexus is uh, this is, of course, their most popular car. Uh, they sold about 100,000 units or cars last year. 
Uh, they sell about 50% of all of their customers buy this car. So you have to keep in mind that any changes are going to be more evolutionary than revolutionary. So let me uh, put on my seatbelt here. Let me start it up. And let's uh, take it for a ride. And let me know what you guys think of the design. So start button right here, which is good. Uh, here's the fact sheet. So let's look at some of the other numbers. Um, the one number that we don't have is pricing, but we do have fuel economy, which is probably very interesting. So let's do that over here. We're looking at 28, no, 27 combined. Uh, and then length uh, of the vehicle is right there. It's about the same size, but they've pushed the wheelbase out about two and a half inches and they've sh made it a little bit uh, shorter actually a little bit more aerodynamic uh, but you know 14 inch touch screen display apple carplay android auto wireless are both available and there's just a whole slew of all kinds of different features now this lexus infotainment is developed by lexus in plano texas which is pretty cool uh, because you know, sometimes the manufacturers don't do this themselves, they outsource it, but Lexus has decided um, that they're going to actually build their own, which, you know, has been a blessing. We used to have the system in the Toyota Tundra that we had for a while, and I got to tell you, uh, there was a lot of finickiness about it, uh, where it made you log in, um, that kind of became a pain after a while, but maybe they've worked out all the bugs. Like I say, I've just gotten behind the wheel of this, so, you know, when we get at the office, we'll be able to tell more if this is actually... A little bit more refined now one of the things that is missing and can you tell these are temperature controls driver passenger volume but no radio tuning wah, 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 wah. you got to do that you know enable audio there you go now I got audio enabled luckily I have a volume knob where I can turn it down uh, and then of course you do have the 360 degree, degree camera which is pretty cool you do have both uh, heated and vented seats, a heated steering wheel, uh, and then this little guy right there is interesting. Um, that's like this is new, I think they call it uh, traffic or congestion, basically under 25 miles an hour. This watches your eyes so that you can keep your hands off the wheel and let Lexus do the driving. Uh, it's not quite as advanced as like Blue Cruise for Ford or Super Cruise for GM uh, or, or Teamwork. I think it's a Lexus system that lets you let you cruise on the highway above 25 but this system does allow you under 25 miles an hour to if you're watching the road take your hands off the wheel uh, and go for a steerless ride now uh, 360 degree camera which i like uh, and big old sunroof which i also like um, so let's go for a ride and see how this new rx 500 does now what i'm really curious about is is it indeed as fast as they say it is because you know this has always been kind of well let's face it your mom's or dad's lexus right i think the average age of the buyer of this vehicle is in their 50s or 60s so it's not exactly the most youthful of uh, buyers but lexus does say that the nice thing about it is that it's got a gender buyer that's split 50 50 male and female so apparently both guys and gals love this vehicle equally all right uh, let me see what i got here hold that there we go now we can see where the uh, power is going uh, you've probably seen this before and you can probably do that as well here i'll show you where the uh, vehicle is going different modes normal sport eco custom you see that on the screen and i'm trying to switch to energy flow which is right there and there you have it kind of a stylized version of you know the power is flowing either to the battery or to the front wheels or to the rear drive unit uh, uh, that's kind of cool let you see where everything goes in terms of energy now you know 27 mpg combined if i go on the road if you want to see one in silver is okay you know it's not mind-blowing um, but then again if you want the hybrid that's more fuel efficient go for the 350h i think that one has a combined mpg of 36 or 37 so 10 mpg more so you want f sport performance you're gonna get a little bit or in this case quite a lot less fuel economy i do like the steering wheel i'm a big fan of fat and there's another one in black i believe or is that green that green is really unusual nope that's black that's a black one i'm a fan of big steering wheels 
I like to grab a car by the scruff of its neck uh, and take it for a, a ride. Uh, and that allows you to do that with a big steering wheel. Uh, seats are comfortable, uh, brakes are better. You know, with these hybrid systems, when they first came out, remember when the first Prius came out, I was a little uh, disillusioned by the brake feel. In other words, I really couldn't tell what the wheels and brakes were doing when I was driving it, but now um, you can. I have a heads up display that's telling me that I'm going 12 miles an hour over the local 20 mile an hour speed limit. We're at a winery, which seems slow, but you know, it is a winery. But uh, let's uh, do this. Let's pull onto the main road and then I'm going to give it uh, full acceleration. I'll put it in, uh, I'll put it in sport mode. Just why not? I'll put it in sport mode to give it the best chance. And I don't have actually a way to time this with me, but if you guys want, feel free to time it yourselves uh, and let me know what number you get. And this is a little bit of a downhill, so I'll tell you when we hit 60. Here we go, floored. Oh, a little bit of wheel spin. And there's 60. Was that under six seconds? Let me know in the comments below. It felt like a six second zero to 60. I mean, it, it is quick. Uh, a little bit of uh, four cylinder uh, engine note. I wonder if that's piped in or if that's uh, what actually is happening under the hood. Uh, in the past, Lexus has allowed you to enhance that, so I'm guessing that might be a little enhanced. Now, the great thing about Lexus, of course, is that everything you see, everything you touch, uh, looks and feels expensive, uh, and this is certainly the case in this car. Uh, I feel like, you know, I'm swathed in leather or fake leather, depending on if you're, you know, into animals or if you prefer the vegan lifestyle. Uh, Lexus has both, uh, either real or fake leather, uh, and four different models. I think there's uh, luxury, premium, premium plus, and one more if I remember right, uh, depending on, of course, the model is the cost. Now, Lexus has not announced the pricing of this model yet, but I can tell you that the current RX starts at about $47,000, and if you get all the bells and whistles, you're probably a tad over $60,000, and I'm guessing with inflation uh, that this new one will be a little bit more expensive, but I could be wrong. They have not announced pricing yet, and if you're wondering when this becomes available, the answer is at the end or near the end of 2022. Let's go back to the uh, winery here just outside of Santa Barbara, California and take the car back up uh, to where I left it, to where I parked it. And I'll give you my final thoughts on the new RX. Now, like I said, I did drive the new plug-in hybrid and that actually felt quicker uh, than five seconds to me. That's got an 18 kilowatt hour battery, uh, which once again also powers the rear drive unit. Uh, like I said, it felt a little bit faster now Paddle shifters, has anybody in a Lexus actually ever used paddle shifters, at least in an RX, maybe in an RC, but how about in an RX, really, paddle shifters? But you never know, there might be some, uh, some folks out there who like uh, controlling their own shifts. Uh, and in terms of a transmission, this has a six speed, uh, which is kind of odd. Um, the regular RX, the non-hybrid, has an eight speed automatic, six speed in this one. What are you yelling at me for, what have I done? keep my eyes on the road is that what you're telling me what what is wrong anyway uh don't know can't tell it's yelling at me and then uh of course the 350 has uh the cvt so there are now at least three different transmissions that are available in the different models of lexus a lot of speed bumps here uh, of course now you also get this yep a camera for a rear view mirror that's becoming a thing uh, which I like. At first, I, it was weird because I didn't get the focal point, but now that I'm used to it, I actually like it. It works really well when you're driving, let's say, in like rain or snow, uh, and your rear windshield gets covered in uh, sleet or water. Uh, this actually does a much better job of showing you what's behind the car uh, than uh, a traditional rearview mirror would with a wiper that's trying to clear off the rear windscreen. Here comes the truck. Don't want to hit the brand new 2023 Lexus. Some other kind of interesting features are the fact that you've got these kind of cool colors that are backlit behind uh, the temperature for the HVAC system. I like that a lot. I think that's really well done. Uh, and let me see where did I park. Did I park over here? I think I did park over here. 
Oh, there's a red one there, so you can, you can see what a red one looks like. Somebody else is shooting, so I don't want to disturb them. Uh, this is the first wave where all the journalists are at. So I'm just going to go by here and park it and hopefully not get in his way. That's Wayne from Clean MPG. Look at those wheels. Oh yeah, I am rolling, I believe, on 21s. Um, the standard one comes with 19s. So it's, it's a pretty big tire uh, for a 21. All right, well, I said I'd give you my final thoughts, so let's go over those. In general, like I said, this is much more evolutionary than revolutionary. Do you like the copper or do you like the red? It's a beautiful red. They're both really cool. This is, of course, blacked out. Yep, 21s. I bet you the 19s drive much better. Think about big tires and big brakes and big wheels is that they're also uh, very uh, bumpy over bumps. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching me. Head over to alltfl.com if you want to see uh, the hybrid review. And remember, you saw it first. I'm talking about the RX 500H Direct 4 on the fast lane car. See you guys next time. Ciao.